Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Farida here, and today we're gonna be talking about breaking in. You know, I've got a lot of energy today. Sometimes you guys know I can be a little goofy, so you're gonna have to excuse me because there's gonna be a lot of goofy moments in this. But overall, the movie was just okay. We know that Gabrielle Union is a great actress, and sometimes she could be in better parts and better roles in better movies, but she rocked it. She kicked ass, she's good. But some of the other actors, you guys, it's like, yo, there aren't better actors in Hollywood. Like some of these people need to go to acting school and the action was just shot and that's okay but the suspense was excellent so eh, it could have been it could have been here but it's like a little bit down here anyway stay tuned to hear my thoughts cue the intro All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of this film. Um, it stars Gabrielle Union, and she is this mother who her father has just died, and she's inherited this huge mansion house. As soon as they got to the house, I was thinking, oh, they bougie. These are some bougie black folks, which is awesome. And um, so she didn't have a very close relationship with her father, and I guess he was guilty of like embezzlement or something like that. He's, he's, he had a lot of money, and but he didn't earn it justly. And so she goes to his house and she hadn't been there probably in 10 years or so. They didn't have a good relationship. And so she has two kids, a boy and a girl, and they've never been to their grandfather's house before. So they show up and it's this amazing, beautiful house. And she walks in and she's noticing a little few things are out of place. It doesn't feel normal. And, um... The kids are going throughout the house, and then this is where the story starts. You know, they get kidnapped, I guess, within the house, the kids do, and she has to fight her way back in to save her children because it turns out that the dad has $4 million in the home that he's been hiding in a safe, and the bad guys need to get to it. So that's what the movie's about. So let's get to the, the, um, the acting, as I said before. So um, it stars also Asiana Alexis, who I was so happy to see her as Gabrielle Union's daughter, because I don't know if you guys watch 13 Reasons Why, but she, as soon as I saw her, I was like, oh man, she looks so much like a younger Gabrielle Union. And so when I saw her show up in this movie, I thought, good casting, good job. Um, we also saw... Um, uh, Billy Burke, who, as we know, is Captain Swan. All you Twilight fans out there know what I'm talking about. So it was good to see him have a role. And, you know, the kids and Gabrielle Union and um, Charlie Burke, they were all, they were, Billy Burke, excuse me, they were all really good. But the other bad guys, my God, like, I don't know if they were trying to be funny. I don't know if they're trying to be menacing. But some of these one-liners, you guys, you'll see it when you watch the movie. They're distractingly bad. In fact, moments that were supposed to be suspenseful, people were actually laughing because some of the lines were so bad. And then the director, uh, James McTeague, I was shocked when I found that out. It's not like I know him by name, but about when I was researching and looking up some of his work, he's done Ninja Assassin. Have you guys seen Ninja Assassin? That movie, when it came out, it's got to be almost over 10 years ago. It was like, whoa, like this action was insane. And I was shocked because I felt like out of all the things in the way that they were shot in the film, I thought the action, not that the action was bad, but the parts where she was fighting and some of the guys were fighting against each other was the weakest point. I thought in terms of making the villain seem... Um, uh, menacing and some of the shots where they're in the dark like all that looked really good but when it was like hand on hand combat it was not convincing at all in fact it reminded me of a lifetime movie i was like i don't want to be laughing at this right now because i'm actually into it because again the way that he shot the film is very suspenseful um but I can't get into this right now because this action is so not believable. And when you're going to have a movie like this where you have a woman against bigger men, against a bigger foe, like you have to know how to do it right. Like Atomic Blonde, even even that movie with J-Lo, Enough. I, I really enjoy that movie. Um, it's those movies are good because they're believable. A lot of times it's not I'm not saying that a woman can't fight a man, but when you're when you have like an average woman and she hasn't had training in her background according to the story or anything else, 
then it becomes a problem because it's not believable. Um, but I'm not saying that Gabrielle Union wasn't acting really well because she was fantastic. She's really believable. All the things that she does in the film are believable. It doesn't take you out. I enjoy the suspense. In fact, my entire audience, which I will say was probably like 90% African American or black, they were, we were all into it. Like, girl, there were so many moments where like, ooh, girl, he got God. And like, you know, the audience really liked it. Um, but for me, I think it's just an okay movie. I don't think that you guys need to go out there and run and see it now. In fact, um, if I were to rate it, if I were to say, um, pay for it or, or go to the movies, I would say rent it, okay? Like if it's on Netflix or um, you have the opportunity to see it on in Redbox or something like that, I would say watch it because it's 90 minutes, it's quick, it's not a long film. If you want something that's fun and that you enjoy watching and that the whole time you you are into it it's just cheesy it's almost i'm i'm serious it is borderline lifetime movie um and it's not that the content and the story is not good it's just that some of these scenes they're just not believable you guys um but other than that i like the film i think you guys should see it but don't run out to the movie theater to go see it all right hope you liked my review and i'll check you guys later